Welcome once again to our video daily devotions, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. Thanks for tuning in. If you'd like to be a part of these video devotions on a regular basis, we send out a daily email from the church with a link for this devotion and also any pertinent information that's going on in our congregation. Just give the church office a call, check us out on the website, and it's easy to sign up for this daily email newsletter. Our Bible reading for today, the intro for the 19th Sunday after Trinity, selected verses from Psalm 78, Psalm 35, Psalm 34, and Psalm 48. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears. The Lord saved him out of all of his troubles. This is God, our God, forever and ever. Give ear, O my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings from of old, things that we have heard and known, that our fathers have told us. We will tell the coming generation the glorious deeds of the Lord and his might and the wonders that he has done. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears. The Lord saved him out of all of his troubles. This is God, our God, forever and ever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, how is your soul feeling today? What is your soul condition? Are you feeling pretty good about things or are you in a funk down in the dumps? Are you happy and ecstatic or maybe, maybe dealing with a little bit of depression or melancholy are you having any trouble trouble in your heart trouble with your body trouble with your family or other relationships concerned by trouble in the world these are the things my friends that tear us down these are the things that rob us of our joy Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Joy more than happiness. Joy that comes from the Lord. Joy that surpasses all the troubles and the problems and soul sickness that we sometimes have. My friends, there's one common denominator with all of our troubles. There's one common denominator when we are down or spiritually our soul aches within us and that denominator is sin God's desire for you is peace joy love the steadfast love of the Lord is yours in Jesus Christ the devil the world and our own sinful flesh use their weapons, their fiery darts to rob us of this joy, to drag us down, down with our trouble, down with our sin. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. We pray that God would remind us day in and day out that salvation is in no other one than the one true God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Too many times we look for our relief, our happiness, our joy, our salvation in the things of this world. Our health, our finances, the political party that we love or vote for, the 
economic condition of the world, how fast my retirement is growing, the list goes on and on and on. We look for salvation in all the wrong places. We need God to remind us day in and day out that true salvation, forgiveness, life, and salvation comes from Him and Him alone. We need to be reminded of this day in and day out because the gospel does not come naturally to us. No, we have to be taught it. It has to be revealed to us. The old Adam, the old Eve that lives and thrives inside of each and every one of us wants to rob us of that joy. So we need God's Word, God's Word preached into our ears, God's Word taking up residence in our hearts so that we are sure, so that we are confident that our salvation, true salvation, comes from God and God alone. The Lord saves us out of all of our troubles. He saves you out of all of your troubles. He does this by the power of his word. So, my friends, give ear. Give ear to the teachings of the Lord. Listen to what he has to say. Of course, read your Bibles, watch these video devotions. There are many, many things that you can do. You can even tune into our radio station. But my friends, primarily he is talking about the importance of gathering together with fellow troubled sinners in corporate worship, coming to God's house, hearing the word of God, feasting on Christ's body and blood. Of course, there are times when that's not possible, but the primary thing, the default setting for the Christian is to long to be in God's house. My friends, if you can't come to God's house, or if you're afraid to come to God's house, you call me. You call Pastor Moline. You call the church office. We will bring the life-giving word of God, the life-giving supper of the Lord to you. That's how important it is for you to constantly be hearing and feasting on word and sacrament. And when you are filled with that peace, with that joy, with that happiness, with that confidence that comes from knowing that your sins are forgiven and your name is written in the book of life, we will want to tell the coming generations of the glorious deeds of the Lord. We'll want everyone to share in that joy. Come, Lord Jesus. Come quickly. Amen.